But yeah, and the other girl, yeah. Hell yeah, I'm glad I didn't smoke with her. And the end result, it worked out for the best. Cause shit, it worked out for the best. But yeah, don't get, just delete their number. They don't like you. I know this one cat that I know. I mean, I've grown up with this nigga. He is like the closest thing to a brother. That's how long I've known him. And he told me one time that he liked this chick. I said, did you tell her how she felt? Did you tell her? Did you tell her? Did you, did you tell her? He was like, yeah. I said, what'd she say? She said, I was important. I was like, dude. And let me tell you something. This is, let me tell you something. This dude, he had it. Like, he had the upper advantage in the dating game compared to me. Like, you know. Because I remember we were both on this website. And uh, I ended up hitting up this girl. And she spoke back to me. And I remember, because it was, I remember what I was, I remember what it was. And she listed what she wanted. And it was kind of the same things I wanted when it came to relationships. She hit me up a couple times. And then I remember going over to his house and he was talking to the same chick. So I just left it alone. I remember leaving it alone. I remember leaving it alone or hitting her up like one time. But I remember just leaving it alone. Cause he had a car and I I don't think I had the confidence then to just like, hey come pick me up. I don't fucking know. But he had the car and he could have he had he could have done anything and he had a job. So a couple months down the road, I said, hey man, what's up with that chick? And he goes, Oh, she kicked me to the curb. And I went, hmm. Okay. And so we get to college, we get to college, and I asked him, I said, hey man, what happened to that girl? I never told him that I was talking to her though. I never told him. I just left it alone because I wanted to see what was going to happen. He said, oh, she said she was too busy for a relationship. I said, well, what happened? He said, oh, we would go out from time to time. She would pay. I would pay. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, man, I wish I was in his position, cause I think I knew what I, I think I knew what would have happened. I would have probably gotten some, you know what I'm saying? But he took the he compensated. He allowed this girl to say, "Oh, I'm too busy to do anything," but she ended up going out with another dude. I was like, why didn't you ever make a move, dude? Come on now, you were going out with her. She was going out with you, and I knew that his. I knew certain things about his people that they would allow to let happen. So for it, and I was like, dude, you, and he was like, oh man, she was too busy. God damn it. You don't even understand. I was like, I think she waited for you and you never made the move. Maybe you were too, maybe you were too fucking terrified of rejection and it happens. It happens. But like what, what, what I didn't, what I didn't agree with was the fact that he let her tell him some bullshit I'm too busy to be in a relationship or to date but you keep going out with me I would have said what the fuck you doing hanging out with me all the fucking time then I would have made a move eventually and then if you would have told me no you know well he said that they both pay for the dates every night so I guess that works out but man I would have been like you know you flatten your tires tight and I'm just flatting. yeah man fuck all that shit you better say something. You'd be like, nah, fuck that shit. I done spent all this motherfucking time with you. And, that, man, you owe me some. Or don't ever fucking talk to me. Or what's up with the pussy? You know what I'm saying? The moment she say no, you go, man, fuck your basic ass. Real talk. And then don't read any of the texts. Send everything you guys say. And be like, man, you better give up some pussy or something. Or you better come, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you were aiming for, ask for that after that. If you were aiming for a car, fucking get the car. You know, and I, you know, or old, I don't know, but ask for it, and then you know, they'll probably hit you up like the next day. Like you know, chances are, if you say hey, what's up, in like a couple weeks, they might say hey, what's up, back, <laughs> or they might just completely block you. But that's something you gotta live with. But don't accept excuses like that. That's happened to me. Some chick. Some chick, what's it called? 
Uh, long story short is she broke up with a boyfriend. Friends f added me on Facebook. So I asked her, hey, you want to chill? So we smoked, and then I took her out, which I shouldn't have paid. But she ended up, you know, giving me the runaround. And I would send all kinds of text messages, funny text messages. And she would send one-word text messages back. Not after I done told a good ass joke, try to make your fucking ass, broken ass, hard ass, dumb ass laugh. You better say some joke back. So I say, hey, tell a joke back. She'd be like, oh, I'm too tired. So I'd be like, what the fuck does that have to do with telling a joke? You don't really say anything. And the moment I said that, I got this long fucking text message of how she's heartbroken and how she doesn't trust anybody. And, you know. And I was like, well, what does that have to do with, you know, making me laugh or, you know, texting first? And then I got some other long text messages back. So I was like, uh, okay. So, you know, I got the run around a little bit more. So I asked her to hang out. She was like, oh, my, my AC is not working in the car. I remember this. She said, my AC is not working in the car. I said, you stay down the street. You're going to be in the house and you're going to have food. She said, oh, I have to call you back. So I didn't text her. These happened within like a few days. So I didn't text her. I was like, man, I know what's going on. I'm not, I've seen this before. And I was like 23, 22, 23. And so she called me and I didn't answer. And then I waited another day and then I said, like, hey, what's up? And then I got the run around. And then, so I said, you don't say anything. That's why. And she basically told me the same thing. And this was after like two weeks. So just imagine, just imagine that time span. Because I know sometimes I let things happen. Just, you know, sometimes you just got to throw some bait out there. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I, so within the span of like two weeks, this was happening. So I should just stopped texting. Like she sent me the same shit. And I did not read it. And I just stopped texting. I was like, I'm probably not going to get none. I'm probably not even going to hang out with her as a friend. You know, because blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. I don't know. And I'm not going to fucking ask. So I just stopped texting. And after that, and I sent her a hey after like two or three days. And because, yeah, she had called like a couple times. And then I just said that shit. And I was like, well, you don't really say much. I said the same thing. I said, you don't say much. And then, and then, and then, so, she came into the store and did not speak to me. And I was like, man, I'd rather just be by myself. So, if, I'm at the point to where if that person doesn't look me in the eye, the girl that I want to hang out with, and go, we should absolutely hang out. Because I'm not saying she has to be forward, but... All the time, but at least don't fucking give me your number and then say add me on Snapchat and then just look at me on Snapchat. Or, because I don't even get on that shit like that. Or look at me on Instagram, just look at me on Instagram. And then six months down the road, we've never hung out. I'll block you with him the first couple days. For real. And then unblock you and just move on, cause you're probably not gonna speak to me anyway. That's a waste of a block. But just to get my point across, yeah, starting to oh yeah, so. I had a couple other things in my book of talks, but I left it in my house. Let me see. Hundreds of whole food prices will
genetic manipulation. That's kind of crazy though. Because that means you'll be able to literally, that that's, like how does that work? How would that be ethical? I'm all for it. But that is like, that's crossing like straight boundaries of science. That's, that's like mad scientist type shit. Real fucking shit. That's like mad scientist type shit. Because you're literally messing with the way, the, 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 the structure of a being and creating it when most of the time from what I understand, we got clones and shit. So I, I don't know. I don't know. But to be able to like imagine creating a fucking Hulk or like a another you, but super stronger, like super stronger. And then they got you doing missions and shit in other countries, and then they're just blaming you. And then whenever, and then whenever they go, oh yeah, we kill them. We got another one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> or they got one of us. Like every time we get hit, we get we mutate like a predator. That movie was bad, fucking bad. That was a good picture. Yeah, that was good sci-fi. But yeah, every time you get hit, you you ever get you evolutionize, and uh, you get a little stronger, or you adapt to every hit. Oh. I want some of that. Yeah, I want some of that. Give me some of that. <laughs> that'd be gangster than a motherfucker. No, that'd be renegade. I am like a motherfucker. That'd be renegade. I am like a motherfucker. So I'm coining this idea. I have a silent stoner film. Yeah, I learned about this Writers Guild of America East and West. And you can copyright shit. But before they copyright it, I had the idea first. There's a silent stoner film, because I work in film production, and my teacher told me don't fucking uh, tell your ideas. And I've been working on a silent stoner film for a while anyway. So it's going to be a black and white. And this idea is marked today. Copyright that shit. Silent Stone film in black and white. It's shot in first person. I'll put this up ASAP.